to Ms. Denny Hoyer's office because we are just incensed that yet again he is taking a congressional delegation to Israel. Now, does anyone want to guess how many times he's been taking delegations to Israel? More than five. More than five. More than ten. More than ten. More than twenty? More than twenty. Oh. Twenty-one oh. times. Oh. Twenty-one times to this little country that we have been giving billions and billions and billions and billions of our tax dollars to. Why is the congressman constantly going to Israel? That's our first question. We just don't understand. I mean, he's got a district, and when they're on recess, they're supposed to be in their, own in their district. They're supposed to be dealing with problems in their, in their district. And Steny Hoyer is constantly just taking groups to Israel. On Tuesday, Netanyahu blasted Biden and said, it's inconceivable that you are withholding weapons, which is absolutely ridiculous because we're sending unbelievable amounts of weapons. weapons. Just look at what they've done to poor Gaza. Next day, Steny Hoyer and how many other? Eight other members of Congress? Eight Eight other members, a bipartisan group, Mm. go are in Israel and meet with Netanyahu. So Steny Hoyer is like a very faithful Democrat. And you would think he would say something publicly to denounce Netanyahu for what he did to diss Biden, right? To even recognize the humiliation that uh, Bibi wreaks upon Biden again and again and again. Now, for us, Biden has been way too pro-Netanyahu, pro-Israel, sending all these weapons, excusing all of this horrific slaughter and starvation. But given that, you would think that there'd be a little gratitude on the part of Netanyahu. He's actually playing into the political uh, playbook of the Republicans, where the Democrats are pushed to the corner, Mm -hmm. where they can't say no to Netanyahu's visit, the Democrats can't say no out of fear of losing the Jewish vote and or Jen, APAC money. A Jewish yeah, American, Jewish and, and a daughter of a Holocaust survivor. I live life as a Jewish American. I am not disconnected from my Jewish roots. Um, and in fact, my Jewish roots imbue me to be here with Code Pink to stand up against people like Steny Hoyer who think that this is justice that supporting Israel is justice. This is immoral, unethical, and it is not justice. It is carnage right now. So, Sean, how do you feel being in Steny Hoyer's office knowing that he is leading a group in Israel right now? Um, Quite frankly, embarrassed. I think that representatives should be representing us, Mm -hmm. should not be taking trips to foreign countries, especially when those countries are implicated in war crimes, crimes against humanity, and meeting with their leaders. I'm a young person, I use social media, I wake up every morning to these really horrific videos of what is being done with our weapons in Israel, and I don't know if Steny Hoyer doesn't see them, or if he does see them and he just doesn't care, but I don't know how he can see these horrific graphic images and videos and then go to Israel when that's happening. I would like paid maternity leave which I get none of. I would mm-hmm. rather the taxpayer dollars stay here rather than killing innocent children and taking our leaders for a propaganda tour in Israel yet again. Mm-hmm. So you think there are better uses of our money than uh, was the latest? Paid family leave, free pre-K and childhood education, paying our public school teachers more, paying our nurses more, paying our social workers more. We need this infrastructure building. And there are so many people living on the street helping with homelessness. And there are so many issues here in America that our tax dollars should be funding, not for some war and genocide in Gaza killing innocent children, women, and men.